Hello, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. We are looking at a one day chart of Ethereum to Bitcoin. It's April 17th, 2021, 2 10 p.m. Central Time. Now, what you're seeing here is a, a chart that shows us the value of Ethereum to Bitcoin. Now, back in January of 2018, Ethereum at one time had over tw was equal to 12% of whatever Bitcoin was trading at for that day. Now you can see this long downtrend uh, that's happened over the years, and over the years Ethereum has just become, uh, I guess, less valuable to Bitcoin over time. But interestingly enough, uh, the top of this wick here. I'm going to send this chart to the back. Bear with me one second. Not sure if we can see this. Uh, can't really see it, but the, the top of the wick here uh, for this spike is right here. Interestingly enough, it comes down, crosses through this little spike here, and same with this spike here. Now, if I try to form a wedge, a wedge here, uh, you know, you can definitely see it. In addition, by measuring some Fibonacci time zone stuff, uh, interestingly enough, it puts a time zone June, about June 23rd-ish, 2021. This could signify a huge pivot point or change uh, in Ethereum's price. We're either going to see the bottom fall off this, or we are going to see Ethereum start ripping to the upside uh, in in value to Bitcoin. So let's just say for a second uh, that Bitcoin uh, starts ripping. Okay. Um, and it goes to 100,000. And let's say Ethereum follows it. But the value of Ethereum rises as it follows Bitcoin. So let's say at the current price, if Bitcoin hit 100,000, Ethereum would only be worth about 4,000 per ETH. But if this is an ascending triangle or some sort of bullish wedge uh, or reversal that's about to happen, uh, we definitely may see Ethereum start to climb in value. And when this decides to climb in value, uh, as it did back here, uh, it went up very fast. Uh, same with, uh, you know, uh, later on in early April. Uh, so we do have that to kind of monitor for now. Uh, full disclosure, I am holding ETH and I plan to add to this position. Uh, this is definitely one of those things where we'll just have to hurry up and wait, see what uh, some indicators are telling us at the time. Uh, however, I, I do think at this time, uh, we could almost be filling out a little ascending triangle or definitely a wedge pattern. Um, I'm definitely hoping that we see this thing maybe break out of this downward channel. Uh, this would be an excellent time for it to do that. Uh, I'll illustrate the channel here that I'm mentioning. Uh, so definitely, you know, been trading downwards. Uh, and this would be a great exit point to get out of this channel because there's really not a whole lot of downward movement uh, to go. Uh, in addition, ETH is going to be hopefully updating the network uh, later on this year in 2021. So I think people are, are looking forward to that as well. Uh, interestingly enough, this wedge does uh, kind of crossroads with this Fibonacci time zone. So like I mentioned uh Mark down June 20th, June 22nd, somewhere in there on your calendars and check on this, uh, check on ETH to see what's going on with it. I, I suspect we will see ETH trade kind of sideways until then. Uh, we may see it uh, rise a little bit, but I suspect that we see ETH trade between 4% and 3.5% uh, worth of Bitcoin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this TA on uh, ETH to Bitcoin. Uh, it'd be awesome to see a cup and handle form, uh, many year cup and handle form, which would be long overdue because in my opinion, ETH is very undervalued. 
uh, for the time being. So thank you all for watching, and let me know in the comments below what you think ETH's going to do by the end of the year.